Jalo, and welcome to another episode of MTG Basics Nameless CDH Gameplay Episode 19. Continuing the Gauntlet series, we have Vu on Blue Farm, looking to see if he can take it again. And we have a special guest, well, special deck, I guess. It would be Gaspel, Artificer, Will, one of our oldest community members, and we're using his Gadriel list. So if you have if you have a list as well, let us know in the comments or just tell us and we're, we're always looking for, for new decks to not have it just be kidding. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, feel free to uh, join our Discord and there's a channel for deck list submissions and you can just add a deck list you want us to play and we'll try and give it a shot and do justice to it. Um, something else we do for this channel is if anybody catches any mistakes for our gameplay, please note it down in the section in the comment section down below. If you catch the most, we'll give you a shout out, if you can believe it or not, from Gameplay 12. Apparently we didn't make a single mistake, so... Hey, hey, let's go. Get in, get in even better. <laughs> I'm sure people are going to go back and like nail that video. But hey, as far as I'm concerned, that video is done. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, something else we do. Uh, we're doing a big giveaway slash push for a thousand subs. Uh, there will be more, more information on that in the outro about uh, TLDR. Help us reach a thousand subs. And we're trying to give out two collector booster boxes um, prior to a certain day. Uh, but with that, let's jump into the commanders. Yeah, let's get right into it. So we have Cody piloting Gaspel's Gadriel list. We have Vu piloting Bloom Farm. I'm playing Dina Soul Steeper, and Kevin is playing Rograk Thrasios. So looking at open hand, Cody has uh, a lot of pieces that are parts of combos and the one ring to kind of get him to dig there, pack negation eventually to pay for that. So really looking for the mid game. Vu kept a, a pretty good hand. Jeweled Lotus along with some ramp will get you a pretty early uh, Krom or Timna, depending on which one you want, but probably Krom. I kept a list, I kept a hand that just kind of has a Phyrexian Tower, I have a way to get past counter spells, and I have a Cabal Ritual to try to power out this One Ring. And Kevin kept a hand of six, some lands, a little bit of interaction, and a Soul Ring to kind of ramp him there, I'm looking to activate Thrasios, and we'll see how this game goes. Awesome. Before we jump into the game, um, if you haven't already, uh, please feel free to drop a like or a sub, it really helps the channel, really helps the channel grow, and it helps with the algorithm. But with that, let's jump into the game. Let's get into it. Alright, any free games? <laughs> no me. free game. All right, let's duel. Draw. Play a bad lands. Not a good lands. Ha ha ha. Uh, Jewel Lotus, and I'll pass. Oh, damn. Draw. Play an herb organ pass. Draw. Fetch for a volcanic island. A volcanic rod wreck. Soul ring. Pass. Draw. Easy breezy turn. Command pa tower pass. Draw. Out of water. Uh, crack Jewel Lotus. Cast Krom. Cool. Uh, combat. Do Krom at Freddy. Cool. And I will pass to him. End of turn, I would like to into. Uh, reveal Protein Hulk into the grave. My turn. Yep. A forest. Tap two to cast a Destiny Spinner. And that'll be my turn. Untap. Draw. Command Tower. Thrasios. Cool. Pass. Draw. Bountiful Promenade. Biomancer is familiar. Pass turn. Draw. Combat. Mm -hmm. Full ready. Cool. Cast Velodal Stone. Yep. Pass from there. Undep. Draw. Braxian Towers, land for turn. I'm gonna sack my Destiny Spinner. Yes, the one ring. So I'll get invulnerability and I'll just pass from my draw. Shuck in a breeding pool. Cast a cannon. Machine God's effigy. Get a Chrom trigger. Yeah, I'll have it be a Chrom. Combat and swing one at Blue Farm. Bufon takes one. A mess. Cool. Back to Orchard for land for turn. Food chain? I'll draw from the one ring right now. Okay. Pass on food chain. I'll pass turn. Draw. An exotic orchard. Combat, I'll do four at Kevin. No blocks. Play Kite Sail Lossinus. I'll do the one ring, Thras, Okinnon, and food chain. Sure. And I'll pass turn. Good draw. Had it comes when we can to crack it. Uh, reveal by you. Pass sure. on you. Yeah. Pass turn. Draw for turn. Fuck in esteemment. Level and hermit. Go ahead. Cool. What? Play Verdant Catacombs. Not fetch. With the Verdant Catacombs, I'll grab a tropical island. Get the one ring. Pass turn. Draw. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. We'll fight you, Freddy. No blocks on my end. I have no interaction, so I'm just gonna. Don't say that. Shieldred. <laughs> I'll pass turn. Draw. Lose two life. No cover one. Pastor. End step, I will activate Thrasios. Reveal a Teamer Sabertooth. Draw right. I have this too. Untap. Uh, draw. Let's do Neoform Sacrificing Malevolent. In response, I'm going to tap the One Ring. Sure. 
I will take two and draw a card. Get an eternal witness. Uh, ETB target Neoform. Neoform sacrificing eternal witness. I'll get the Chrom trigger. You'll gain two off of that. So put a fairy artisan into play with a counter, and I will pass. I'll take one damage and draw. And then you'll lose two. When I'm... Sea of Clouds for turn. And I add a counter, tap this, lose four. Mm -hmm. Level higher. Trigger. Uh, with that, I will go ahead and pass turn. Draw. Midden Orchard. Combat. Ten of ready. Cast an Assassin's Trophy. Targeting mm -hmm. the Kite Sail. Alright, I'll do War Trigger. I pay one. Mm -hmm. So that's it. It's... Assuming you don't go on. I cannot. Zot T, Voidwalker. Trigger Fairy. Yep. Now I'll pass. Dig with the One Ring. Take four from this. And cast a worldly tutor. Trigger crumbs. So I'll lose two. Yep. Reveal shielded. Go to my turn. Yep. Cool. All right. Um, one ring. Lose two. Draw the shielded. Emergence zone. Sacrifice a spirit. With Frexine Tower. Two. Just here and here. Shieldred. The apocalypse. Yeah. I will respond. Cool. I'm going to activate Thrasios. That's, yeah, that's good. Reveal a Biomancer's Familiar. I will lose two. Ah, uh, yeah. Fairy Artisan Trigger. So, since there's only two right now, I'm going to tap the one ring. There's only one, yeah. Well, yeah, there's like... So you're going to net even. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, so I can actually just draw the cards. Yep, yep, yep. So. Shieldred will... His Shieldred will happen first, right? So yeah. you'll loot one, two, three, four, five, six... Then your shieldred will happen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, for which we each lose three. Mm -hmm. For three. each one, yeah. Yeah. And then um, this is resolving. Yeah. Artisan. Okay. So shieldred's in play. Pass turn. Um, so I will draw for turn. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna net two life loss. Right. I'm gonna lose yeah. four. Game two. Uh, shock this in. I will cast malevolent hermit. An Imperial recruiter. A dock side. Dock side trigger. Crom. You lose two. Pack the negation on dark side. I will cast an offer to mind break trap targeting dark side and offer. Oh. Actually, just dark side. I'm gonna let the offer go through. Hold triggers. Yep. Uh, yeah. So draw. So we are losing two life each. Uh, okay. So dark side's exiled. Uh, pass. Okay. Untap. Take two. Draw. Take six. Grand abolisher. Grand Abolisher resolves. Okay, and then Trigger Fairy Artisan, I now have a Grand Abolisher. It's Hollow Griffin. Draw. So I'll draw. Yep. Uh, yeah, I lose four, right? Yep, and I go yeah. even. One, two, three, four. I pay one and beside you the food chain. In response, I'm going to tap the one ring. I will take six. You take um, 12. 12? Because there's only two shivers. In response, Exile Noble Hierarch making two blue. We'll exile Biomancers for another three blue. So this is destroyed. You get a land. This does go under Dothi. That's under Dothi, yeah. 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 Besaju's under Dothi. And I get a basic land type. I get a Tundra from the Besaju. Saw resolves trigger Fairy Artisan. That's Jeweled Lotus. Yep. Mox Diamond. Ching a Besaju. Yep. I'm going to sack Jeweled Lotus for three green. Cast Collateral. Trigger Artisan. Convist of Agua. Yep. Trigger. Trigger. I have an Archivist. Mm. I will add three green. Cast a meal of the blessed. I'll put a 1 1 counter on each creature and turn. Draw. Tile blends. Cast by a covenant. I'll pay the 19 first. Targeting Dina and your entire board. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. Do 8 at Kevin. Pass. Go to my turn. Don't tap upkeep and I'll lose 3 from the 1 ring. Draw a card. Cast an Elvish Mystic. No Rebirth. Yep. Targeting. Enchanting the Elvish Mystic. Two calm triggers on the statue. Um, in response, sacrifice the Shieldred and flash in an Orcish Bowmaster. I'll hit the dump. Calm trigger. Draw. So you'll net the same. Shielded trigger. Yes. And then. Oh, there's no more Shielded. Right? Yeah. So, then, you, so uh, draw. you just gain two. You, you just gain two. Okay. And then another and then Bowmaster. Hogging Dante. Alright. Yes. Time was. Does it go out the pattern then? Cool. With the Mind Break Trap? With the mind break chat, okay, I'm using awesome. T. Uh, and then I'll draw. Yep. Die. One shield. Pass the turn. Uh, take three. From that, draw. 
Take an additional two. Hole breaker. Motor's pedal. I'll get the crom trigger. Yeah, you go on. I'm gonna target this with the bounce. You gain two, and then there's an orcish bow master trigger. Correct. I'll hit you for one boom. Lateral will trigger when this enters. We'll just add three green and pray. And tap the one ring. Four orcish bow masters on the sack. One to you, Cody. Okay. I'm gonna deal three to crom. Combat. Um, I'm gonna swing team at Vu. Uh, second main phase. I'll pass turn then. Draw. All right, I'll go combat for this. I'll do combat ready. Put count on the one ring and draw. Take me four. Fast as all go. We'll be two to hole breaker trigger. Okay, I'll bounce that back to your hand. I'll put a subtlety to the top. Yeah, shield it again. Yep, I'll be Cody of Spirit. Ladrill trigger. Scry two and draw a card. Keep that on top. I'll draw a subtlety. One to you, Cody. All right. I'll go discard. Sweet. Those three. No pass. So oh, discard. One ring trigger. Tap it. Yep. Draw five. Peace trigger. Yeah. Would like to tap one. Sacrifice this. Cast an immersion zone on top of the triggers. Cabal ritual. Five floating mana. Cast a wish claw talisman. I'll trigger crop. Go ahead. Draw card. one damage. But I guess I get life. Draw. Um, I mean, at this point, it's probably just four or one of you. Yep. Cats, force negation, pitching, watch. We're going back on top of the triggers. I'm actually going to tap it for green before, and I cast uh, Diabolic Intent. Cool. I'll get this card in my hand. I would like to use the remaining floating. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was mana. Okay. Yeah, Got it. it is mana. Got it. Um, to flash in an enemy dead. Targeting protein hole. Oh, the flex looks swatted. What are you gonna give me? Um, Elvish Mystic. Yep. And we're back to these shield your triggers on the stack. Yeah. I'd like to sacrifice it as an additional cost. Cast Calling the Weak. Mm -hmm. Animate Dead. Um, it's gone. Four Black Foot. Tap three. Cast Praetor's Grasp. So exile it face down. It's the card I got. I'll just cast the Mana Crypt to show what it was. So I would. Like to let the stack resolve. I'll first shield. So trigger. come to Shieldred. Nice. Nice. Nothing else. Ah, oh, dude, this is what? Did you guys? What a meme of a game. Man, was. what a meme. What a game. What a game. What a Shieldred game. I know the the what it, I, I'm forgetting my colors. A teamer. Even the teamer deck had a had a Shieldred at one point. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even the teamer deck had a Shieldred. Card's good. Card's really good. Yeah, it's amazing. I, I didn't, you really don't think of that too much as a stacks piece. I think people are starting to get around that idea, but it really does limit a lot of what you want to do. My one ring, you know. Yeah, it was like a net negative at, at a point. Like Cody's was like even a oh, huge Cody. net negative. He lost like 18 life for one, <laughs> one yeah, ring activation. Yeah, well, if you're watching, this is a terrible <laughs> one to, to showcase the deck against. It was, yeah. there were like, yeah, like we said, three Sheldreds at a point or three mm -hmm. Sheldreds. I am a big believer of children. I am a, I'm a huge fan now. I've added it to my personal thin and trashes list. I'm oh, a believer. Yeah. This is, car's good. Car's really good. Yeah, there's there's been a lot of like black, even like demure mid rangey stuff with Talion and Shieldred, and I think people are coming on to Blood Chief Ascension. Mm -hmm. We've seen come out of the Timnacrom list before. So. Yeah. No, I mean it was really well played. I know you went you went to try for to go for the win at yeah. instant speed. Yeah, yeah, that, I think that was really my only way out was trying to, to just combo off with uh, the Emergence Zone. I think I actually would have gotten there, revived the Protein Hulk with the Animate Dead, mm -hmm. and um, I couldn't use Reanimate, but I think it would have changed anyway. Deflecting Swat got me there. Oh. And, oh, dude, that was painful. All I needed to do was just sack it, and then I, I have my combo at instant speed. So. Yeah, it is unfortunate, but just docks to the strength of Blue Farm, right? Back to back games with Blue Farm. Yeah. We'll see if Blue can keep it up. Uh, cool. As we mentioned in the intro, something we're shooting for this uh, in the next couple months is to hit a thousand subs. Um, we're going to be doing a big giveaway. We'll be sending two collector booster boxes um, anywhere the U.S. Postal Service can send packages to. Uh, we'll send it to two different places, so there'll be multiple winners and all there's some cool stuff with it. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to hit a thousand subs by April uh, April first, which is a two-year anniversary of the channel. Um, if we're able to do it, be if we're able to hit the thousand subs before April first. Uh, we'll send two collector booster boxes. If we do it, if we hit it after um, April first, we'll just be a draft booster or whatever current set is, uh, with the same terms anywhere uh, the U.S. Postal Service can send. 
um we'll do we'll do like another video or like a giveaway video or something um mm -hmm. but yeah i think you know really helped us try and get that goal we're really we're really pushing for it we're really gonna get to the triple digits yeah yeah, yeah we're, we're looking or yeah. triple digits yeah Quadru four quadruple digits yeah quadruple digits wow, i am yeah. illiterate uh, <laughs> that's not even words <laughs> <laughs> Stop maybe. watching, guys. Who knows? Anyways. Maybe, uh, but before we make an ass for ourselves, I guess our sponsors. Partners. Partners, yes. Uh, yeah, see, you know I'm messing up, too. Chaos Tournaments. They don't mess up that often, though. So the, the random spell table, uh, it's over Discord. Overall, runs pretty smooth, and I would recommend checking them out. Yeah, and if you're in the Never Metro area, come to Level 7 Games. They do a lot of CDH tournaments. Um pretty well run um tournaments of the stores are pretty clean pretty cool atmosphere the people there are pretty cool we were at a recent tournament not too long ago and you know three out of the four people on top on the top four were from that store so you know there's some high caliber players that go there and just uh regular so yeah pretty good competition yeah i think it's a pretty competitive environment with to where it doesn't get like you know uncomfortably competitive yeah to where you're just it's, nitpicking certain things no but. it's a very cool crowd obviously you know there's bad apples everywhere but in general i think the the player uh base there is pretty pretty relaxed pretty not sweaty and just competitive to the extent that they'll you know they'll want you to play well and whatnot uh, but with that i think we're good to wrap up this video thanks everybody for watching have a wonderful day and stay basic keep it basic